So this is the Lord teaching us a song right now about the Israelites getting a victory over our oppressors. Who are, who is the black and Hispanics oppressors to this day? Who, who oppresses us? Tell me, you know more than I Where you from, you from around here? Oh, no, nah, yeah. You know who the oppressor is. Who did this song, where you from, by the way? Ask your nationality. What's your nationality? Dominican. Dominican, what's your nationality? Trini, right? In the Dominican Republic, in the Trinidad. Was there not chattel slavery going on? Yeah, sure. So who's our oppressors? White men. Who is this man right here beating us? Selling us on the slave blocks. What other one that? Yeah, right over here. Who's our oppressors? Now, not only did this happen to the so-called blacks and uh, West Indians, right? This happened to, what other one that? Right here, yeah, you stepping on it, you stepping on it. This happened to our Hispanic brothers also. See this? The same thing that happened to the blacks happened to the Hispanics. The Lord has told us that we are one people. Understand? See this? The same thing. We had a lot of our brothers in Puerto Rico being sold into Hawaii. Our, bro our brothers in uh, North America, the Native Americans that's being sold over to Brussels. It was a transatlantic slave trade going both ways. Israelites coming in from west coast of Africa and our brothers like you coming from the Americas going into Europe. This is little known facts. That's what we are here to teach our people. Read. For the Lord take a touch on his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Mm -hmm. Let the saints be joyful in the glory. Let them sing aloud upon their backs. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Let the high praises of God be in the mouth of the two-edged sword in their hand. Why would the Lord look at that as a beautiful thing? Why? Look over the 12 tribes. Look over here, right? You said you're for the Dominican Republic, right? So according to the Bible, your people are from the tribe of Simeon. And you, my sister, you're from the tribe of Benjamin, right? So why would the Lord want us to sing a song about having two S swords in our hands? We went over a little bit earlier about our oppressors, right? If the people oppress you, what's just and what's fair to be done to your oppressors? Long Israel, Musa and Christ bless. Scan that QR code that you will see on the screen. Because guess what? We trying to push this truth toward the four corners of the earth. Let's push this truth toward the four corners of the earth, man. Stop playing games. Make sure you subscribe to all our channels. We pushing the truth. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Woo! Y'all believe God is fair and he's a just God? There's gonna be no fear. Huh? No fear. No fear? Yo, don't be scared to say it. Yeah, yeah, no. If somebody kidnapped your kids and you found them, what's, what would you want to have done to that person? Huh? Punish. How? Give them a uh, community service? <laughs> well, what, what kind of person are you looking for for revenge for something done to your people, something done to your children? To be honest, I want them dead. That's now, is that something that I'm crazy for saying? Once again, why does God say he's going to be beautified and watch us to have two S swords in our hands? Read. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. To, to execute vengeance. Revenge is a beautiful thing. We all know that. But we have to wait for the Lord. We're not saying go out and grab a sword and go attacking people. No. When the Lord comes back, he's going to put us in that position again. The reason why we're in this position right now is because we sin. Once we stop sinning and come back to the laws of God, we'll be rulers over this earth again. That's free. And punishment upon the people. And, and what upon the people? And punishment upon the people. When we repent, when Christ comes back, like I said, this is never taught in church. We're going to be rulers over this earth. That's We're going to have servants and handmaids. We're going to have the authority under God to beat these servants in order. That's right. You think 
these other nations are gonna willingly submit to you after knowing you've been at the bottom of society for centuries. You think they're gonna turn around and submit to you overnight? You gotta set, you gotta set some examples. You gotta let them know you're not to be playing with. That's why lost you gotta beat them. The same way how they beat us. How they get a plantation of a thousand big black men to submit to a little white man that's just this tall? To a little Chinese man that's tall. They set examples. Oh, what would man, what atrocities at? What atrocities at? This is what they've done to us to set fear in our hearts. To let us know that they're not the ones to play with. You see this? You ever heard of Gator Bait? You heard of Gator Bait before? Down south, what they used to do is they used to take the little black babies and literally use them as alligator bait. Tie a tie by the foot at the edge of a bank where the river is, and when a gator comes in, they will shoot the gator. But not all the times they got a chance to shoot the gator before the gator tore the, to tore the baby to the water. We were used as bait. Is that something a Christian that's teaching you about God should be doing? How can someone that has that kind of evil in their mentality be able to teach you about God? They're not teaching you about God. They teach you about Satan. That's Understand? Right. Read. To bind up their kings with chains. This is all about revenge. Because the Bible says what has been done unto us, we're going to do unto them double. Did we, were we not in chains and shackles? Weren't we in chains and shackles and slavery? So what does God say to do to them? Be that part of to bind up their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. We're going to be bounding up their high officials, the kings of this earth now, your Putins. Your, uh, uh, I ain't gonna rest their names. We're gonna be having them in servitude. Read. That's right. To execute upon them the judgment read. This honor have all the saints. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. They don't teach that in these churches. Why? Because the modern day Christian church is an extension of white supremacy. That's right. The modern day Christian church is an extension of white supremacy. Wake them up. That's why. What's what the man be losing said? Pass that real quick. This is the majority of the Christian churches our people are calling for to now. Your people, Catholics, right? What about you? When you grew up, what church were you forced to go to? Catholic? I was forced into several adventures. Some of us Baptist, Pentecostal. But what do you see as the main uh, culprit of these man made religions? White men, understand? Why is that? Don't look at the years. What was our social status during these years? Black and Hispanics, what was our social status? Slavery. So do you think your slave master is gonna have you in slavery, raping our children, putting us as gator bait, and they're trying to teach you the wonderful truth about the Lord? They're not gonna do that. They're gonna create doctrines that's going to keep us docile. Create doctrines that's going to have us serving their false god that looks like them. That's right. So when we on the plantation, we get upset. We want to rebel against the slave master. Oh, I just want to kill him. I, I, nah, but he looks just like so-called Christ. That's what kept us in order. That's what kept us substitute to these slave masters. Nation is 